At the state capitol, Rowan Wilson, the governor's pick for the next chief judge, undergoing a public hearing with the Senate Judiciary Committee today. Now, this comes after the Senate rejected the governor's previous nominee, Hector LaSalle. Our capitol correspondent, Mel Taligi, was at today's hearing. She has the details. Rowan Wilson, a Harvard grad and the state's current associate judge, was joined by his wife and daughter. His opening remarks talked about his childhood, family, education, and legal career. Growing up, my parents, we didn't have luxuries, but we, my parents gave me something considerably more important, which was a, a great education and a strong self, sense of honesty and ethics. Lawmakers immediately questioned Wilson on a notably controversial case known as People v. Reagan, in which Wilson overturned the prison sentence of a convicted rapist after there were several delays in the trial. Wilson says this violated the defendant's right to a speedy trial. And it's a horrible feeling to have to reverse a conviction in that circumstance. Unfortunately, cases come to us and we have to decide those cases the way the law requires. And the hardest thing is in cases like this, where it causes personal damage to an individual who deserves better. While the victim did everything right in this circumstance, Wilson says the issue lied within the system and their lack of urgency to move swiftly. The problem is that to vindicate those rights for all of us, you have to do damage in an individual case. Senator Sean Ryan referenced the fact that Wilson has had opinions that go against the majority of those on the Court of Appeals, including his opposition to the redistricting ruling last year. One very important thing that relates to the question of dissents and opinions generally is that the chief judge controls the length of conference. And one thing that I think that well, the chief judge can do and that I would do is lengthen the conferences so we have more discussion about the cases. Four Republicans in the Senate Judiciary Committee voted against advancing Wilson. Senate Minority Leader Rob Ort weighs in. They're more comfortable with a judge who ruled to overturn a, con a rapist conviction than they were with supporting Judge LaSalle, whose only disqualifier apparently was that he was not a far-left activist judge. But after the three-hour hearing, the State Senate Judiciary Committee approved the nomination and Wilson will face a full Senate vote tomorrow. Reporting in Albany, Amel Talaji.